balls, it's hot. <laughs> If you're watching this, you're probably implementing a carnivore and animal-based lifestyle. This hack falls beautifully into that lifestyle, but it's something that a lot of people don't really talk about because it doesn't have to do specifically with food and the types of food to measure and all those little things that everybody's talking about. I'm talking about the things that from 2 million years ago when humans were existing, the things that existed for free that we can use to actually feel good and look good and all these various things. If you have struggled with anxiety, depression, having issues with losing the weight you wanna lose or feeling lonely, not feeling connected, all those kinds of things, 1000% dude, this video is for you. What we're talking about is trail running. I'm actually going to do a trail run race in about uh, five months. So I figured there's no better thing to do than to prep with you guys and to show you exactly how somebody on an animal base or a carnivore lifestyle is an athlete and competes in these kinds of ways. Let's get into it. What's up you guys? All we're gonna need to get started is a pair of headphones some shoes, maybe drink some water beforehand, bring your phone for music. Next thing you wanna do, once you find the trail that you're gonna go to, and you can pick any single one of them, you can see the duration of time and distance and all that stuff when you are on the All Trails app, you wanna download the other app called Map My Run. So we're getting two, two apps for this in total. These are not sponsors or anything. These are just things I use. So I try to tell you guys only the things that I use or you, you know, inform you of the stuff that's actually useful. Map my run, get that. That's gonna help you see how far you go when you run. And then for this first run, if we're actually gonna start getting into trail running, all you're gonna do is probably hit a one to two mile run so that you're not going too hard. I'm wearing one of these chest things that, you know, holds water. You don't need to do that. This is just getting you started. So if you've never run before, if you're new to this, if you've never done trail running before, which is kind of a different thing, just start out with two or three miles maybe, or one mile, and we can go from there. Once you're at the trailhead, press go on Map My Run and have absolutely no mindset in, in there about how fast you wanna go, just start. So we're trying to reinvent our programs and reinvent our realities. And I'm not saying that running distance is a must to do that. But trail running totally freaking changed my life. So here's sort of my take on this whole carnivore diet, animal diet. I call it a lifestyle because I don't see it as a diet. I see it as like the inverse of a diet. And this is kind of why I incorporate trail running. So I do truly believe that we are stuck in the system of companies trying to sell us information and things that we don't need, they don't really help us in order to generate a profit. I don't think that's too far of a leap to assume. <laughs> I think we can all kind of agree that we see that in some areas. With this carnivore animal-based lifestyle, you, you, we're, we're ultimately breaking the system to find good food, to be able to heal like our minds and our bodies from the inside. And why does this matter? It's like, it sounds wooey, but it's like, no, you could be making 10 times more what you're making. You could be, you know, if you're lonely, this could totally change your entire paradigm. So you meet new friends that are actually dope in align with your vision of whatever that is. Maybe you wanna be a better parent or a better wife or a better husband or a partner or whatever. Like the food that we have in our bodies is affecting the way that we think and it affects how good we feel, which basically affects how, how we show up, obviously. And then trail running goes into that because I do believe that there's something going on in nature where we have to really like kind of submit ourselves to that and, and believe that there's something here. And you know, I'm not like a huge, 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 like camper or anything like that. Like I, I love, trust me, I love my conveniences, but I spend time here and there in nature because there's something here. Being in the sun, being in the nature, being in walking around, sweating, moving your body, getting that endorphin rush. There's like, again, we're fixing our, our mind from the inside and that's huge. So I'm like a little bit over a mile in and it's hard. I haven't really hit that, that runner's high that they see, say that people get, but it's coming. I can feel it, you're kind of getting warmed up. So maybe if you're doing this to start, you're a half a mile in and you feel like shit, that's normal. The reward comes a little bit later when maybe we've done this a couple more times, um, you know, in different days or you keep at it. But the more you run, as far as like exact consecutive days in a row or in a week, the better you feel. And then that runner's high with that endorphin kick and dopamine kick comes in and it makes everything so much fun. The only reason I picked up trail running was because when I decided to stop drinking, I was 26 or so, and I would wake up on a Saturday 
and be like, I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> like literally no one was awake because all my friends at the time drank and I lived in a city that was, you know, a little bit more spread out. So I would just go because I was in Colorado. I would just go for runs because I didn't know what else to do with myself. And it turned out that I loved it. And now it's this like amazing hobby that I make time for every single weekend. So with that though, it got me out of feeling really depressed. It got me feeling like I had an endorphin rush where I used to be getting it from drinking and partying a lot. It got me in the sun. It got me moving. I got fitter. I had a new hobby that I really liked. I got to explore a city. And so, you know, the upside for that was huge for me. So again, trail running, you guys, is like such a life hack. It's like such a fucking life hack. If you guys agree, and if you guys watching this, I know there's a couple moms out there who want to get back into it, but you know, comment down below if you agree. You know, this reality that we live in is so much bigger than what we've been taught and told and sold. Our bodies are vibrational beings, right? Like everything in us is vibrational. Everything atom wise and molecule wise vibrates. So that includes us. And if we're like vibrating on a low level, meaning we're sad, we're gonna feel like crap and we're gonna make sad things come around us. But if we feel good, more people are attracted to be around us. But that comes from feeling good on the inside. It's really kind of just reworking our entire paradigm and shifting our perception of what we think big food and big pharma is doing for us and how we can kind of use the things that are free to hack our realities and basically like reinvent our own, which I have done. I have done this myself for my life, for sure, in my income, in my friends, my living location, my body, my habits, my all of that kind of stuff. This is how I see it. You know, if we don't believe that nature or running or the food we eat affects our like outlook, our reality, then, you know, and we believe in God, then whatever that God is, then you're contradicting your own, you know, thought system. Conversely, if you believe in science, you know, and you don't say like subscribe to any kind of God, but you don't believe that there's something to these atoms and these molecules and the food we eat and the thoughts we think and the vibration that we bring out to the world and what we bring in, you're uh, contradicting that belief system too because everything is vibrational and that's, that, is, that is fact. So I think it's a matter of just opening our minds to maybe thinking about looking at health differently. You know, maybe it's a matter of going back to what we've done in the past rather than trying to put so many other Western made things into our bodies, kind of get back to the, like the basics a little bit. That's what's helped me again, like to each his own. I truly think to each his own, like if people eat vegan or vegetarian or animal based or carnivore or whatever they do, if they run, if they don't like to run, if they're religious, if they're not like all good, this is stuff that's worked for me. And I'm compelled to share it with y'all as a carnivore coach slash animal based coach, but there's more to it than just the food thing, right? There's more to reinventing our realities and breaking these systems than just the food side of stuff. It's, it's a bigger thing than that. Kind of a paradigm shift. Okay, and we finished. Just did about three miles, guys. That's all we really need. Holy balls, it's hot. So it's about 10.30 now and getting out of there before it's way too hot, but whew, I feel pretty good. Did not go at a quick pace at all. Probably went like nine, 10 minute miles because I was walking and talking a lot with this, but take, taking it easy is part of like starting and getting going. You know, you got to kind of roll into it. You don't want to just like kill yourself the first time, second time, third time, fourth time, fifth time you do this. Okay, back home. All of us should be drinking electrolytes after we do this, particularly those of us that are living an animal-based or carnivore lifestyle because we're holding on to fewer carbs and that means we're holding on to a lot less water, meaning we hold on to a lot less electrolytes. So if we don't do this, we're gonna be really sick and like nauseous and dizzy and all that. I've done it before, it's terrible, don't do it. So all you gotta do is make sure that you get some water. Take a little bit of this, I get keto chow. This is the best one that I personally just really like using. And you pour just a few drops in the water before you do anything else and chug it. All right, and it is about to be dinner time here. So I know a lot of you guys have asked about running and wanting to know a little bit more about it, been interested in trail running. I hope you like this video. But look, the whole thing of this is not to simply just talk about running. The point is to reevaluate the way that we look at health and also use the things that are free. There's so much out there that's given to us that's free. And I'm not one of those people that's real big on like, 
outdoorsy things all the time. I'm not hugely granola, as they would say, or anything like that. It's really that it just has completely changed my life. So we got a lot of things going on. We need Western medicine for some things. Definitely there's a lot of things that Western medicine accomplishes that running and food just will never ever accomplish. But we have evolved for 2 million years. <laughs> Having these kinds of tools around, I think it's worth us taking another look. I hope you guys like this video. As always, like it if you like it. Please comment below if you have any comments, questions, anything like that. I am training for this uh, race pretty soon, going with this, uh, and I'm gonna just keep, keep uploading this. Let me know what you think, and subscribe as always. The more subscribers that we have, the bigger the guests on that we can have, and that's where we can figure out the truth. All right, y'all, I'll see you on the next one. See ya.